What is going on guys? So today I will be showing you my Monster Hunter plush collection. Keep in mind this collection is fairly enormous. Um, I got most of these Monster Hunter plushies in Japan. The rest of them I got on Amazon or eBay. You can go check them out. Now before we start this video, I just want to tell you guys, I don't know how to pronounce a lot of these monsters names. And uh, some of the monsters, I don't even know their names or forgot their names. Um, also, I am missing the um, Azuri Rathalos, Pink Rathian, Stygian Zenogre, and the Kushala Deora. The Kushala Deora, I'm actually ordering. It's supposed to be coming around November, late November, early December-ish. Um, but yeah, if uh, I cannot find... Um, oh yeah, I'm also missing the Silver Rathalos, excuse me. Um, I, I cannot find the Silver Rathalos, Stygian Zenogre, Azuri Rathalos, and Pink Rathian. I cannot find those guys. They're not online anywhere. They weren't even in Japan. And if any of you guys have them, uh, and you're willing to sell them, or gift them, or trade for them, I am totally down. Hook me up in the comments, or I'll leave a email in the description you can email me with. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So first monster, we have the Berioth. It is a ice sort of like saber tooth tiger inspired sort of thing. Um, and then we have the Yian Kutku. Um, these actually are both of the new Monster Generations Ultimate game that I've been playing on my Switch. Super awesome game, highly recommend it. If you guys do get it, hook me up in the comments and I'll play with you. Um, then we also have a Monster Hunter World plushie, and this is the um, Zora Magnaros. Yes. Um, then we have Gameth, which is a ice sort of mammoth creature, humongous monster, absolutely giant. And then we have Teostra. Um, this is sort of a lion fire dragon sort of thing, um, sort of inspired off of that. And then we have the Zenogre. The Zenogre is sort of a thunder wolf, thunder dog, whatever you want to call it. Thunder dog. No, it's underdog. Okay, and then we have the Gold Rathian. Please, I'm missing the Silver Rathalos. I want its counterpart. Um, and then we have the Azeros, which is a bear that loves honey. Um, and the, I, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, the Paolu, Palulu, or something like that. And then we have the, um, what is it, Legiacris, yeah. Larry the Legiacris. Um, I like that guy. He's really rare. I haven't seen him online for a while. Um, and then we have the Sergios, or Sergius, however you want to pronounce it. I might not even be pronouncing it right. We also have the Ketsu, um, which is a really cool monster with a big mouth and a tongue sticking out. Just fought that one yesterday, actually. It was a really fun fight. And then we have the Glavius and the Hellblade. Hellblade is its raging counterpart, or Deviant, whichever one, they're the same thing. Deviant or raging counterpart, either one. I love that monster, I have almost the full set of armor, but I love that thing, so fun. And then we have the Malfestio. This monster is super annoying to fight because he does this stupid thing where it switches your controls to invert, and it's really annoying. And then we have the... Najara Ara, something like that. I do not know how to pronounce this, and I doubt and if you, any of you Monster Hunter fans watching this video do how, know how to pronounce this. Extremely hard. I, I, I just can't. Um, and then we have the Rathalos. I have another one of those guys somewhere. I don't quite know where he is, but one of the main Monster Hunter bad guys. Uh, yeah. And then we have the Devil Joe. I just got this one the other day. He just got back online. Um, before he was really expensive, but I got him on Amazon for really cheap. Um, and then, then we have the Pookie Pookie, which is from Monster Hunter World. Um, and then we also have a Palico. It's just a little cat companion that follows you around and helps you with missions. And I believe this is the Japanese name for this guy, Razex. I don't know its English name. Not a big fan of fighting this monster, although the armor is really cool. And then we have the Nergigerte, just got this one the other day, this is her monster in her world, super cool. And then we have the Tigrex, which is like a T-Rex, tiger, dragon crossbreed sort of thing. And then we have Camellius, um, 
it's just like a chameleon monster. This wing actually fell off. It was really loose and not sewed on properly, so I had to sew that back on. Um, but yeah. And then we have Rajang, which is like a Super Saiyan monkey. Um, super cool. I love this plush. We also have a Deviant, which I believe is the Devil Massacre. Um, what is it? Diablos? Yeah. And then we have Nate the Nargakuga. We actually have two of those. That's not the actual Nate I used to film. Um, this is the actual Nate I used to film. So we'll just, like, stick them right there. Nargakuga, right there. Um, and then we also have, um, this boyo, which is the Anjanath, which is like a T-Rex sort of thing. I love this monster, it looks so cool. We also have the Rathian, which is the, the Rathlos' uh, female counterpart. And I believe this one's called the Monoblos. It's basically the Undevil Massacre version of him, the Diablos female counterpart. And then I believe this one's called the Texactor, or Texactor, something like that. Really confusing name. I believe it's an Elder Dragon. Super cool. Love that one. Awesome. I also have a little mini plush um, from Monster Hunter Tri and Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. This is Cha Cha. One of my favorite, my, actually, Try and Ultimate have to be my favorite Monster Hunter games ever released. I love them so much. They introduced so much new monsters and just had a new element to it. I really, really like Cha Cha. He, he brings back so much nostalgia. And then we have the, um, this is the Raging Brachydeos and his counterpart, the Brachydeos. Um, super cool. They have giant horns on their head. They're awesome. Super cool. And then we also have the Monster Hunter World Rathalos, so it's more, it's a more enhanced version of the regular Rathalos. Not a big fan of this design. I love this design, though. And then we have the Shigaru Magala, which is the Gore Magala, but just, uh, out of its shell. The Gore Magala is basically like a cocoon, and then it peels off the skin and turns into the Shigaru Magala. We also have an extra Rathalos. I'm probably gonna make a custom with this one. Not sure yet. I really, I really don't like this model, the Rathalos, but that's just my opinion. And then we have the Monster Hunter World Rathian, which is the female counterpart of this Rathalos. Yeah. We have the Kirin, which is like a unicorn sort of thing. It's a lightning unicorn. It's an elder dragon. Um, also, this is an elder dragon. This is an elder dragon. Elder dragon. Elder dragon. Elder dragon. Elder dragon. And, uh... Is there any more? I'll, I'd probably miss some. You guys can tell me in the comments. Um, but yeah, those are all the Elder Dragons so far. Oh yeah, and Camellius and Rajang, Elder Dragon. Then we have the Yan Garuga, which is basically... I can't tell. I don't know what the Yan Garuga is exactly. I'm sort of mixed up from Monster Hunter 4. I've had friends that have told me that it's the frenzied version of the um, Yan Kutku. But they've also told me it's the male counterpart, and I've had some people tell me it's a completely different monster. So, you guys can correct me in the comments on that one. Also, we have airship Pooji. Um, Pooji is, uh, what, what's, he's like a, he's just a little pig that your hunter goes and pets every once in a while, and this is the airship version. In Monster Hunter, there's airships, and they fly around in those airships, and, um, I guess he's just in his nice warm suit so he doesn't freeze to death on the airship because they're up in the air and as you know the higher you get in altitude the more cold it gets oof and then this is the dark wolf fenny um i don't know why i bought these two same with the palico they're not monsters but i just have an obsession with collecting the whole set and then i believe this one's called the tamatsu it's sort of like um it, it's basically just the weather dragon like an, it's an elder dragon and it basically controls the weather, like tornadoes and monsoons and tsunamis and stuff like that. It's a really cool fight. I haven't fought it yet, but I've seen videos of it and it looks awesome. I can't wait to fight this guy. We have the Lagambi or the Angry Bunny. Um, he's like a snow bunny that throws snowballs at you. Super annoying to fight, but cool monster. And then we have White Wolf Fenny. Um, actually, I'm gonna put him right over here. I, I like this monster a lot. It, it looks, well, it's not a monster, but animal. It looks super cute. I like this guy. And then I believe this one's Glavi- No, no, no. That's Glavius. This is Gravios. Yeah. Really confusing. And then back here we have this really- Like I said, guys, I have an obsession with buying anything Monster Hunter plush good things. 
Yeah, d d don't mind this creepy thing, it's just a puppet of a pelican. You don't mind him, he's actually really frightening and I don't know why I bought him. And then we have the Redborn Tigrex, super cool, it's the, uh, uh, I believe it's a subspecies of the regular Tigrex, or it's a deviant, I'm not sure how, what the difference is. I know subspecies are like different colors and stuff, and different moves and elements. And then deviants are just monsters that have survived hunters attacking them and have basically learned um, more advanced ways to survive in their environment. But I, I've never fought him. I didn't, never even played a game with him. I've only played Monster Hunter Tri, World, uh, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, and Generations Ultimate. I, I haven't played much games, but I've watched much gameplay. Um, mo most of the reason is because I didn't have the console to play the games that were out. Cry. And then I'm pretty positive this one's a deviant of the Zenogar. It's like the Thunder Park or the Thunderbolt Zenogar, whatever. Whatever you want to call it, or like the Gold Park Zenogar, I don't know. And then this one's the Matasune, something like that. Super cool, it's like a bubble monster, I like that one. It's got really cool armor, it's like super Japanese kabuki styled, I love it. And then here we have the little Wyvern Girl, or, um, I believe, uh, what, what was her name? I'm just checking the tags real quick, I got all the tags out. Um, Milzy, Milzy, yeah. Milzy, so, little wyvern girl, Milzy. She's in the online area in Generations. And then we have the offline counterpart of her, Katie. We're gonna stick her right here. A badoop. And I am not 100% positive, because I know Amazon gets the names wrong. I'm not sure if this is the Lusset Nargakuga or the Silverwind. If it's the Silverwind, I believe that's a Deviant. So I believe this guy's a Deviant if he's the Silverwind. If he's the Lusset, then he's a subspecies. I'm not positive. You guys can correct me in the comments. So I'm gonna put that guy right there. With the Gormagala, I actually have his full set in Monster Generations Ultimate. I've been farming him like crazy lately. By the way, if you guys are um, struggling on getting the feelers, you just need to break the horns right on the front of them. Extremely annoying, by the way. Extremely annoying. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we got the Gore Magala. He's actually the before version of the Shigaru Magala. And then we have the Chaotic Gore Magala, which is basically... So it goes from him to him to him. This is basically the in-between version. Um, like, literally as he's forming into the Shigaru Magala, so it's like, you fight him in this one area, and then he runs away, and he's all hurt, and he's starting to transform, and you go and fight him, and like, beat him up, and he runs and like, flies away, and then you f go find him again, and he's this thing now. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a pretty cool fight. And then we have one of those super annoying cats that always steals your potions and loot for no freaking reason, you, even though you don't do crap to them, they're just little annoying thieves. We have this little apple suit of Fenny. I I think it's hilarious. I love that thing. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna place him right there. It's basically just Fenny in this little apple suit. Uh, it's hilarious. I have it in Generations. I love it. Then we have the Liegiana, which is, or Legiana, one of those, um, which is a Monster Hunter World creature. That's actually the last Monster Hunter World creature in this whole s in this whole set. Um, I think that monster is fascinating. I love it. Um, it it's it's uh, got a really cool design, and it lives in one of my favorite biomes ever put in a Monster Hunter, which is the Coral Highland. I believe this is the Japanese name for it, but this is the Eucambus. Um, I've never actually fought this monster, and never actually have seen this monster in the actual game or on any gameplay. But it's like a it's like an ice dragon thing that apparently comes out from big glaciers and attacks you is what I've heard from friends. And then last but certainly not least we have the Raging Devil Joe. I still do not know if this is just the raging version of the Devil Joe or a Deviant. I Ever since Deviants have came out I love them but they confuse me to death. So let's, let's set them right there. I know I've seen the Raging Devil Joe like he's actually like turned into that but I don't know if that's the plush made off of a deviant or just literally the raging devil joe so yeah all the we got all the tags here and <laughs> i gotta clean these up now i keep them in this little egg that the yan cutku came in um i don't have all the tags because some of them from ebay it was retarded and they didn't come with the tags so wow thanks ebay i like collecting the tags because they're all unique and have the monsters and like in this video if i forget the name um I, I could just remember. Holy crap, this one was $35. Yikes. Okay. 
Um, but yeah, if I ended up forgetting the name, like, they help so much. Um, especially for, like, videos, because I don't have to look them up. But yeah, again, guys, if any of you in the comments have the Silver Rathalos, the Stygian Zenogre, the Azuri Rathalos, or the Pink Rathian, if any of you guys have them, please hook me up. I'm looking for them, and I want to finish my collection before the new Monster Hunter World plushies come out. Um, I believe next year, at the beginning of next year, or the end of this year. Um, here's a picture picture of them up on the screen. They're pretty cool looking. I'm not a big fan of the lizard guy. What's his face? I, I forgot his name. I'm so dumb. I'm not, I'm not a fan of that because then I'm going to have to make him choking the whole time he's in the episode. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys like my Monster Hunter series. Like, comment, and subscribe. This is my ultimate Monster Hunter plush collection. Ow, I just hit my blinds. Um, but yeah, guys, see you tomorrow. And bye.